Welcome to Christmas. I know it's Friday, it's time for Fun Friday, but I wanted to start with that because that's our theme. Starting today, we're going to enjoy Christmas all month. And so we're going to do, I'm going to do a little bit different show today uh, because I want to introduce you to all the opportunities that are available to you this Christmas through Saddleback Church of Laguna Woods. And if you're a part of another church, that is wonderful. That thrills my heart. I'm glad everyone needs a church family here at Christmas time. And you enjoy everything your church has to offer, and I know you will. If you're not a part of a church, we want you to know that you're more than welcome to join us for this Christmas season. In fact, I want to start with a verse from uh, actually, book of Matthew, chapter 2. And you know the story of the Magi, that they came from the east bearing uh, gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And because there were three gifts, often people say the, the three wise men, but we don't really know how many there were. That could have been a whole bunch of people bringing three types of gifts. But whatever, we do know this about them. Here's what it says. It says, they came to Jerusalem and they ask, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. We've come to worship him. And that's the phrase I want us to dwell on a little bit this Friday morning. Are you going to worship the baby Jesus this Christmas season? You know, I ask that question because it's so easy to not worship at all. You get hung up and, boy, I've got 20 people to buy gifts for. We get so wrapped up with the gifts that we forget that we even give gifts because God gave us the best gift of all time. And that was his son. Jesus Christ, born in a manger in a little town called Bethlehem. So this Christmas, our church is going to set aside the whole month to worship him, and we would love for you to come down and join us. So as part of that, I hope that you received in the mail, you should have this week, this postcard. And uh, I'll just hold it up. I don't know if... actually. On this side are all our events. And so I hope you receive that. If you did not, would you write the uh, email address on the bottom of the screen? And we'll send you one by electronic mail. Or if you even would call or the, our church office, we'll mail you one. But we wanted to get this out to all of Laguna Woods because... We want to give you lots of opportunity to carry out that verse that we want to worship him. Now, the fun, I'm just going to kind of highlight some things on the back here that uh, are happening this month. Starting, we're kicking it off on Sunday, that's two days from now, December 2nd, we're going to start singing Christmas carols. And I know that seems really early in the month and all that, but you know what? I ask you the question, how much worship is too much worship? <laughs> it's a simple question. There's no, there, there's no too much. You can't overdo worship the Christmas child who is Jesus. So we're going to just start with, with our band and singing some hymns. Uh, it's going to be a really good time. In fact, I've asked our hospitality team if we can serve, serve some hot apple cider. And they got the idea they're going to not only have that, but they're going to have other Christmas-type items too. So you're going to enjoy that. Get going in the season this Sunday. The following Sunday, December 9th, is uh, kind of a country-western feel to that service. And we're having a band called the Lake House Band. Next week, on both Monday and Friday, the leader of that band, Kim Beanie, is going to be here. You can hear her sing, but I invite you to come back on the 9th of December 
because, well, I like country music. <laughs> and I like Christmas, so they kind of combine them both. And uh, that's at both our 9 and 11 o'clock services. Oh, and by the way, another motivation to come on the 9th, and this would be enough in itself if you ask me, we're having hot, fresh, scrambled eggs. And they bring out, I'm just guessing, 15 toppings. My favorites are bacon and sour cream, but I know you have your own favorites too. So come on out. You get to, We hand you the eggs, and then you go down the line and put your toppings on. What could be better than that? Oh, and it's free. And we still will have our regular donuts and bagels uh, and fruit, actually. Uh, available to you that morning too. So what a great morning December 9th is. Uh, you won't want to miss that one. Then coming up on the 14th, which is Friday night, we're having a Christmas concert. And if you look on it, it's, it is delineated here on December 14th. There's also uh, banners and posters and flyers in, in the clubhouses. Uh, but in the Performing Arts Center, this is where it's going to be held on Friday night, uh, there's a big poster that uh, with all the details. But we're having Rick Much out. Rick was the uh, worship leader at Saddleback for over 25 years. He's appreciated by many. He's bringing an all-star band, including members of his family that are just outstanding singers and musicians. I hope you'll join us. We have kept the prices very low, only $5 for all the balcony seats and $10 for down on the floor. And uh, because we wanted everybody to come. And so they're all reserved seats. You do not want to miss that concert. It's the first time we've done a Christmas concert uh, on that scale in a few years. If you like big band music, especially, you're going to enjoy that concert. It's called It's Christmas Time. And uh, so what a fun night we're going to have on the night of December 14th. December 16th, now we're back to Sunday, and we're actually having hula worship. And you say, hula worship? Yes. In the Pacific Islands, hula is the way that they demonstrated uh, and lived out their life. And so at Christmas time, they love expressing themselves in hula worship. You don't have to do it yourself, but you can sing along. They're all familiar Christmas songs. And we do that because God loves variety. And so we provide various variety, different ways of worship throughout this month of worshiping our Savior, Jesus. So that after that, on December 23rd, that's two days before Christmas, Rick Muchow is going to come back and lead us in worship that Sunday. Uh, that will be absolutely awesome. He, has an, he is an amazing worship leader. So big band style of worship on December 14th, regular kind of Christmas worship on the 23rd. The 24th, of course, is Christmas Eve. We have a candle lighting service. This year it's in Clubhouse 7. You won't want to miss that either. That's We really gear it down just a quiet, almost a quiet type of worship. And of course with the candle lighting ceremony and all these, all these include a message from our pastor Rick Warren. And if you've ever heard Rick, you know that he is so inspiring, and motivational also. So that's a part of, of each one of these things. Other than that Friday night concert, there is not a message there. That one is just pure fun and, and worship, and worship too. So that's our December. Uh, I hope you join us. I hope you got your card. Leave it in a place you can find it. See what's happening uh, almost every, well, every week. And then you think about joining us. We would love you to be a part of our family this Christmas. Thanks for tuning in today. We'll see you on Monday.